This morning, one of the drag queens from that controversial Last Supper parody at the Olympics opening ceremony doubling down as backlash grows. The performer insisting this was not the Last Supper, but rather the Feast of Dionysus, arguing even if it was the Last Supper, quote, what's the harm? Why is it a parody and not a tribute? And can't drag queens be Christians too? Meanwhile, Olympic organizers apologizing, insisting clearly there was never an intention to show disrespect to any religious group. We really did try to celebrate community tolerance. Jack Brewer is a man of God on a mission to spread his faith. He joins us now to react. Jack, welcome to you. I know that you saw yeah. this and you have some strong feelings about it. Please do share. Well, you know, it's just saddening to think that we're in a, a, a time period where uh, this could even be approved. I mean, to be mocking the Last Supper, something so sacred to so many Christians around the world, uh, is is a direct uh, assault on, on Christianity. But all religions should be uh, upset and hurt right now, seeing what happened at these Olympic Games. Olympics, for the for for throughout history, have brought countries together. Uh, have been times where conflict has has been healed, uh, and so to to think that uh, you're giving a group like the trans community this much leeway uh, to control what, what you show uh, to folks and children all around the world, uh, this is a mockery and God will not be mocked. Uh, and we will reap what we sow uh, from these type of events. What did you think of the Nikki doll, which was one of the drag queens in the display defending the event, claiming they were depicting the Feast of Dionysus, not the Last Supper? How does that go over with you? I, I pray for her. I pray for her soul. You know, I ask God for to, to forgive her because she does not know what she's doing. Uh, the, this is a sad time. These people are confused, you know, but I, I mean, if you look back, look at the policies that we're pushing. Men competing with women in sports. Uh, we're allowing uh, individuals like this to make policy decisions uh, across our nation and across the world. Uh, this is a direct uh, alarm bell for the entire world to see we cannot allow this. This is a mental health issue. Mm -hmm. If you really think that um, you can change your gender and, and that people are going to support whatever you say, and we're just we're, we're, we're just feeding it, uh, Sarah. We're feeding uh, this nonsense, this mental health crisis that we have before our hands. We need to treat it as such. We need to call it as such. We cannot let these men go into bathrooms with women. We cannot let these men compete with women in sports. And we have to speak truth to them through the word of God, but just common sense. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, and so for the transgender community, they're making the criticism about them being transgender when the Christian community is saying, that this was a mockery on their faith, a mockery of their religion, Jack, uh, really bottom line. The First Lady, the President calling the uh, opening ceremony spectacular. And so many did think, as they were watching it, <laughs> did think that, right? And then this came across and you, you think, gosh, what a distraction from what was a really remarkable opening ceremony. And from the athletes, Jack, as an athlete, um, you know, we want to support these people who have put so much hard work into right. their events. A real quick final thought on the Olympics and, you know, hoping that these athletes can go on and have their best performance at the Games. That's right. Sarah, you know I'm a fellow track athlete, right? I won the Junior Olympics, and it's one of the most glorious times for me. I love watching the Olympics, and and to see uh, this take just dis distract everything, yeah. distract all these accomplishments of these men and women who have worked all their life. Many of them working two and three jobs just to be able to and compete. their families, yeah. And and their families, and then to have the president of the United States, the first lady of the United States, uh, right. appease to this satanic, demonic act is disgusting. Jack, Shame on you, Joe Biden, and the Biden family. All right, we're coming up right at the top of the new hour here. Jack, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. You. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.